Hello, third graders, and happy Monday. Today, we are going to talk about ancient Greece. We're also going to introduce your new list of spelling words. And we are going to talk about ancient Greece a little bit, but also Greek mythology. I hope you are all having a great Monday morning or afternoon, depending on when you watch this. Um, why we are going to talk about um, Greek mythology is because after fall break, we are going to read a very, very, very exciting book called Percy Jackson. And maybe you've read it before, maybe you haven't, maybe you've seen the movie, whatever it may be, we are going to read it and it's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and start by talking about our new spelling words. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we are going to go ahead, I'm going to read you the spelling words for the week. So here are your spelling words for this week. Number one is adoration, adoration. Number two is revolt. Number three is pleasant. Number four is unpleasant. Number five is revenge. Number six is ordinary. Number seven is adoption. Number eight is tactic. So those are your words for this week. When you're done with this video in your assignment, it says that you have to do two spelling menus. So I've posted your spelling words and your spelling menu. So once you're done with the video for today, make sure you go ahead and um, complete two spelling menus. Another thing that you're going to do today is you need to have notes in front of you. Now, the notes that you are going to have in front of you are the Greek gods and goddesses notes. It looks like this. Now, if you can't print it out, that is okay. Try to do your best to follow along. These notes are fill in the blank because when I go over the um, PowerPoint, you're going to go ahead and fill this in where here says what the god or goddess is, the description, and then you can write the symbols over on the right hand side. It'll make more sense once we get going. But for today's lesson, you need to make sure you have these notes in front of you. We are going to complete these. We're not going to complete the whole thing today, but we are going to complete some of them today. So please make sure that you have those out and ready right now for the notes because it's very exciting. And you will be quizzed on some of this information eventually. So please make sure that after, as you take your notes, you keep it organized in your humanities folder or binder, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and share Greek gods and goddesses. We're gonna talk about the Greek gods and goddesses that are called the Olympians. So a myth, this was a spelling word in the past, a myth is a traditional story, especially one about the early history of a group of people or explaining some natural or social phenomenon, and typically involving supernatural beings or events. Synonyms, so some words that mean the same as folk or as myth is folk tale, folk story, legend, tale, or fable. We're going to talk more about fables a little bit later. Here is a our first. Greek god. I want you to notice what he's coming out of. I want you to notice what he's holding. I think that this is one that you really, really, really should remember for Percy Jackson. Poseidon is the god of the sea, rivers, floods, droughts, and earthquakes. Along with Zeus and Hades, he was considered one of the big three. So we are going to learn about 12 different Greek gods and goddesses with our 
time on this PowerPoint. And for Poseidon, he is part of the big three. So the big three are Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon. So what you have to do now, if you have your notes printed out, is go ahead and fill in the blank of the things that you need to put in. So God of the sea, rivers, floods, droughts, and earthquakes, along with Zeus. In Hades, he was considered one of the big three most important gods. Okay? So make sure that you copy this down. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, and if you didn't finish, you could go ahead and pause this video right now and then go ahead and finish, but I'm gonna move on. Some symbols of power are his trident and then his sacred animals are horse and a dolphin. Those mean those are the animals that you usually associate with Poseidon. Trident is what he was holding in that first picture. And that kind of looks like a fork. Um, if you've ever been to ASU, the mascot for ASU is Sparky, and Sparky actually has a trident too. Let's go ahead and look at this next one. Let's look at where he is. You can see, if you notice in the background, there's some pillars here too. He's holding something, he looks powerful, okay? We have come to our guy Zeus. Zeus is the king and father of the gods, the ruler of Mount Olympus and the god of the sky, weather, thunder, lightning, law, order, and justice. He overthrew his father, Cronus, to become the most powerful Olympian. So with that picture we saw, you will see that he was up in the sky. He was actually in Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus is where um, it's think of it kind of like the capital of the gods. That's where um, he lives. And since he's the king, that's where um, all of the gods or goddesses go to. Um, he is the god of the sky. So in that picture, we saw that he was up in the sky. And um, he's also the god of weather, thunder and lightning. And this is very important when we are going to read Percy Jackson. So remember, King Zeus is the king and father of the gods, the ruler of Mount Olympus and the god of the sky, weather, thunder, lightning, law, order, and justice. He overthrew his father Cronus to become the most powerful Olympian. So go ahead and fill that out in your notes. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, so his symbols of power are a lightning bolt. His sacred animals are an eagle and a bull. Eagle and a bull. Oh, here's our next one. Look at this one. Okay, here's a couple of things I want you to notice. Notice the creature that's in this picture. And if you were to guess where he is, where do you think he would be? Now, this creature actually shows up in Harry Potter. If you remember, um, Harry, and if you've ever seen Harry Potter, this creature's name is Fluffy. And the, Harry Potter and his two friends go down and they um, put this creature to sleep so that uh, they can go past it. This creature is Hades. Hades is the god of the underworld and the dead and the god of regret. Along with Zeus and Poseidon, he was considered one of the big 
three. So now we have introduced the big three. The big three are Hades, Zeus, Poseidon. Hades is the god of the underworld. Zeus is the king and ruler of all of the gods. And Poseidon is the god of the sea, rivers. Um, so those are the th big three. Symbols of power is the cornucopia and helm of darkness. Cornucopia is like a horn, a basket that you probably have seen before around Thanksgiving time. The sacred animals are the screech owl and the Cerberus. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of seconds to copy this down. And the Cerberus is that creature we saw. It's a three-headed dog creature. And then a screech owl is just a type of owl. Screech is a sound. Maybe you've heard um, some tires on a car screech before. So a screech owl is what he is. So let's go ahead and review who we have talked about. And it's okay if you don't finish it. You can, of course, always rewatch this video. And pause. Poseidon, trident. And if you look over here on his trident, there are one, two, three pointy parts of a trident. Because trident, tri, means three, just like a tricycle. There are three wheels. A triangle, there's three corners. So a trident has three pokey parts. Here he is coming out of the water. Okay, so. He is the god of the sea and the rivers, um, floods, droughts, earthquakes. He is also considered one of the big three. The symbol of power, of course, is his trident. The sacred animal is a horse and dolphin. So you should have this filled out in the fill in the blank in your notes section. And then the symbols of power should also be on there. Okay. Here's Mr. Zeus. You can see he's on Mount Olympus because he's the god of the sky and he's the ruler of them all. He's really powerful. Okay. King and father of the gods, the ruler of Mount Olympus and the god of the sky, weather, thunder, lightning, law, order, and justice. He overthrew his father Cronus to become the most powerful Olympian. His symbols would be a lightning bolt. And sacred animals are a eagle and a bull. Hades, behind him is the Cerberus. Hades, the god of the underworld and the dead and the god of regret. Along with Zeus and Poseidon, he's considered one of the big three most important gods. Symbols of power, the cornucopia and the helm of darkness. Sacred animals are a screech owl and a Cerberus. You can, of course, go back on this video and pause when you need to if it went if I went too fast of course we don't know how fast you write because we're not in person so of course you can go back and pause when you need to so to wrap it up the big three are Poseidon Zeus and Hades those are the big three for the Greek gods I will tell you right now, not only is it important to know the big three for Percy Jackson, but it's important to know the big three for some future tests, okay? Big three, Zeus, Poseidon, Hades. Say it with me. The big three are Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. I hope you can say that to yourself now. We are going to continue this PowerPoint tomorrow for your lesson, but today when this um, video is over. What you're going to do is you are going to make sure that you have those notes filled out and you're going to keep it safe because we're going to continue with the same note page tomorrow. So do not throw that away or do not lose it before tomorrow. Then you're going to complete three, sorry, two spelling menus, two spelling menus with your new spelling words. Okay. Then I also want you to complete the worksheet, which is just a quick grammar review. Okay, so keep your notes safe. Make sure your notes are filled out. Two spelling menus. Your grammar worksheet. That's what you have to do when you're done with this today.
and remind yourself who the big three are for Greek mythology, okay? If you have any questions, you can go ahead and message me, okay? Have a great day.